Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Empyrean. So, uh, my ship's on the roof. This is actually version 2.0. Don't tell Togi on me. I blew up my ship accidentally when... I didn't even visit a base. I'll see if I can show it on the map, but I went over here. Oh, there it is, actually. I went over here, like this, just flying along. And I guess there's rockets and bad guys around here. There's rocket drones, like physically rocket drones, and they somehow shot and took me under. I survived. My ship actually kind of went, kind of like nosedived into the ground in a way. I think it could glide a bit, but uh, I lost all the power. It took out the generators, it took out the fuel, oxygen, everything. I was dead in the water. That was it. So I came back here. I think I was going to pick up some ammo. I need to go to a moon. I need to find a new type of resource, apparently, that you can find on a moon. So that is sort of my mission today, anyways. I uh, have lots of food there. Uh, let's see if I have any more ammo in here. Ooh. Ooh. I don't really need ammo right now, but I should look into making more. But you know what? I'm going to wait till I come back. Uh, I think we're set here. So I just need to get on my roof. Later on, I need to find maybe a ladder or something here. Oh, yeah. Somebody told me about, a little friend of mine here, something about a new, uh, oh, what was it called? Um, let me look here quickly. It was really cool. Uh, do 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 It was called um, Structural Integrity SI, and it's a new system that only works on structures, and it's only working horizontally. I think um, later on it should work for the full structure, and I guess it's not quite coded in there yet. But it is a new feature that you can see somewhere here. Uh, oh yeah, structure. Here you go. Statistics, maybe. Is that what it is? He says you can see it in red and blue or something, or red and the actual color of it. Let me reread what he says. Um, when you press N, when you're building your base, press N and select structural integrity. Okay, so N. Oh, so you have to build the base. Um, P... Large constructor, access, here's a block building, oh good, got it, uh, block building, and then N, oh there we go, oh okay, so see how it's green, oh that is so cool, that shows you the structural integrity, it's green, so that's good, but I guess over time if it were to take damage, um, it would affect it. But, it sounded like instead it would affect the entire column. Now technically I can't really hit or destroy my base, so this is a bad example. But I guess normally when you fight, the whole thing would be affected. I guess anything in pink is not part of this new system yet, I guess? But, uh, how cool is that? I didn't even realize that. So you hold N and there you go. Okay, so before we go, um, I'm going to go ahead and process some of these materials when we're gone. No need to do nothing with it. Magnesium, crushed stone. I guess I could process all the crushed stone too for fun. Uh, rock dust, and then that's probably more than enough. It's like 10 or 5 each time, so it's like you got way too many there. Uh, iron. So if it's like five each time, that iron's already way past, because it takes five iron ore. Yeah. Okay. And I think I have enough bullets for now. We're just going to go with this and hope for the best. So we are finally taking off for the first time off the planet. Distance to orbit, 700 meters, 600 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters. 300 meters, 200 meters, 100 meters, and here we go. Boom. This is right on the dot. Cool. It even tells that I entered and left and etc. Oh, there's a bunch of vibrations. Probably a little too close to the planet right now. And there we go. So when you're in space, you actually move a lot faster, a lot quicker. 
Um, we're actually looking to go to the moon. We want to visit the moon uh, because apparently there's this neodyme. You remember the advanced CPUs that I need for like certain like upgraded drills, upgraded equipment, etc., etc. Uh, I think the moon is on this side if I'm reading this right, or no. I guess we can try going this way. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 you were reading that right. It looks like there is the moon. So there you go. We're going to visit the moon. Now, the moon is kind of far away. It's 0 0.5 AU or something like that, which is, I guess, considered kind of far. But as far as I know, we should be somewhat fine getting there. Actually, I wonder if we power down, if we can continue... Oh crap. Didn't mean to go back to the atmosphere here. I wonder what happens if we power down. Besides me losing oxygen. You slowly, slowly lose some base material. Okay, or space speed. But you could do this to move around, I guess. So, yeah, here it is. Uh, Omicron orbit, uh, the moon. So I guess it's within the area. Okay. I don't know if you could physically fly to these other place. Generator turn off while moving, initializing force stop. Wow, so it has a system to save your ship. And we wanted that in a certain other game for a million years. Who wouldn't build a, uh, a ship in like real life, right? Who wouldn't have a backup system literally to, you know, stop the vehicle from moving? There you go. I was worried it was going to be like a long, long trip, like it would be forever, but no, it's pretty fast. Hopefully we don't end up landing on like a bad person, mob person. Here we go. 200, 100, and entering. And we've entered. Okay, wow. So it's, it looks like a moon. That makes quite sense. So my goal here is to explore, but also not stay around too long. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. We need to get out of here as fast as possible. I don't know where those guys are. I don't want to know where they are, but all I know is I cannot afford to lose my ship while exploring. Again. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe. Like, oh, that's another enemy. So is the radar, like, huge, like, compared to normal? Okay, we're gonna go east to west. I don't know how this planet is shaped, but east to west sounds like it would make more sense. Oh, here we go, we found one. Even if we get a few, just enough to get us going and out of here. I'm so worried about getting known by other, you know, space creatures or aliens or who knows what's on these planets. Okay. Can we do this without sliding? Maybe we get out, it'll stop sliding. Not really. Oh crap. Okay, that didn't work out well because our helmet was off when we last were on the other planet. So, can I, let's see, first, can I hit you? Yes. There we go. And then if we go to the back here, we can use the oxygen here to fill up our oxygen. There we go. So this is right under us, apparently, right here. Nice. So we'll keep an eye on the... Oh crap, that's not good. That's a rocket drone already coming this way. We either take our chance and go for it before it hits our ship and die even. 
Oh, there it is. We've really screwed up now. Oh, we can hit it from here. Yes, we took it down. Oh, yeah. First rocket ship down. Because the our weapon range is, like, ridiculous on this planet because it's the moon, right? Yeah. I don't want to take my chance and have my vehicle shot up somewhere else. It's like on the peak too. So right now it's like pretty much saying, hey, everyone, I'm right here. Come get me. But I think we're going to be fine. Okay. Uh, Jetpack off or on actually. And we're going to go mine. Oh, I get worried because of the red now. Kind of wish that kind of disappeared or turned into a different color. Like an orange. Yeah. We've already looted it, or like it's already down and it's orange. And maybe yellow after it's looted. I don't know what the CPU is required. Like, I mean, maybe we have more than enough here for um, a month. Maybe we don't. But I assume we should probably try our best to get as much as we can. Just reloading. So there's apparently a meteor system in the game now. I was reading about. Apparently it doesn't get executed till like 10% or something silly, unfortunately. I'm not sure how exactly it works, but uh, it sounds like when you're down to 10% resources on, say, your main planet or whatever, meteors will start slamming onto the planet over time. Hopefully it doesn't hit structures or anything, but it's a good way to uh, obtain some resources. And I guess it's a way to prevent, like, from running out of resources indefinitely. Seems like you get a decent amount of XP too from this. Where is it? Oh, I. Oh, yeah. I hit T a lot now. I've been spamming it. I'll miss spamming that once I get my new drill, but uh, it helps pick it up without having to worry about it too much. Nice. So I got 244. Quite a bit, actually. Say we're doing good. Some crushed stone there. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that a good mine. Like I said, I don't want to overstay my welcome. Plus, I just saw something over there. There it is. And that's a large minigun drone. That's not just a normal size minigun drone. The thing might take me out to who knows where. 
You don't think I could actually hit it from here, do you? I can't even see the crosshair, to be honest. That's another rocket drone. Not so pleasant now. It's turning around now, so either I got it or... Oh, I got it. I don't think it did what it just did, but I'm worried now, so let's go back. I lose the loot on that then? I wonder why it does that sometimes. Seems like really long range it sinks under the train sometimes. Could be a desync issue, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's gone. Oh yeah, there's a rocket drone. Not gonna take my chances. We're out of here. Like I said, we don't want to die. Is it alt maybe? Free look? Hmm. Either way. We're in orbit now. It's cool they didn't do the effect because technically there wouldn't be an effect, right? Because you were, um, you were already in space. So, uh, there's no atmosphere or whatever, so there was no effect or stress on the ship, which it didn't indicate it, which was good. That's like, I like that, you know, detail. You'd think they would have just, they probably did originally make it work on all of them, but they, you know, over time making it, you know, de planet dependent or whatever, if it has oxygen, atmosphere, etc. Which I think is cool. I just thought I'd have to say that's cool. So apparently there is these guys all over the place. I don't know what's here. I don't know if it's safe. There is a Sathium. Oh, there's another resource here that we can get. Sathium? Th Sathium? One kilometer away. A plasma drone. Okay. Uh, what am I doing wrong to not make my ship stop? Okay, maybe we're not doing anything wrong. Plasma drone sounds like a good way to get myself killed. Maybe not though. Maybe we can hide behind this really big asteroid here. And maybe it's really not that... Maybe one kilometer is really far, maybe one kilometer is really short, I don't know. Doesn't look good for us anymore. Um, what am I doing wrong? Oh my god! Living, apparently. That was a bad idea. Oh, we got it! We got it! Nice. I turned off my helmet when I got in the ship again, so I was like, oh no. Oh, look at advanced CPU. Woo! Space Marine, baby. Okay, so this looks like something called Savium. Hopefully. Is that Savium right there just floating away? Damn it. Don't float away. I can't tell if it's just like the surface or how that works. Wow, there's quite a bit there.
Very nice. I think I'm going to call that enough just because, wow, we already have 247 just because I don't want to overdo it and take my risk of something bad happening. We've done so well today, I just don't want to ruin it. I can see this being a good place to mine, actually. Okay, home sweet home we go. So that is the asteroid belts around there, and apparently there's even structures up here because I see one all the way over here. I don't know if I would take my chance getting too close to that thing, but I could see something right there floating in space. Probably very bad for us if we were to get close to it. At least either way we're heading towards the planet, so if we fail, we can hopefully skid into the planet. I kind of just want to see it say something on our map, or discover it even. Oh yeah, Ther Thermanica something station. Okay, so where was home? Don't remember, my friends. Don't remember. Uh, you know what? Drones probably don't live in the ocean, so let's go with ocean. Here we go. So, uh, where are we going here? Oh, crap. Oh, there's the one I lost the ship. Okay, I think I know where I'm going now. New resources. Copper. Okay, we're going back this way. We're going to stay up high in the air, though, I think. Ish. Kind of dropped quite a bit already. See how- oh shoot! Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. That was like hostile universe down there. Woo! Talk about a bit of a small heart attack there. So the good news is you can fly high enough to avoid those things. Bad news is, well, you need to know to fly high enough to avoid those things. So I think we're going this way, yeah? You know, I'm starting to wonder if that little n notch on the radar is my shooting distance. It would make sense, because it was really long on the moon, uh, w like when my character was out, so I'm wondering what it would be like now if I got out of the vehicle. Well, I should be like 50 rocket drones just waiting. We know you were in space. We know you have goodies. Now let us have the goodies. Close enough. So we survive. We made it. One thing I want to do is I want to build a hangar for my ship because I don't trust it being on the surface like it is now. Or dig a massive cave system and then dump it into the cave system. That would be actually kind of clever. But something other than keeping it on the surface and getting it damaged, so we'll have to figure out what we'll do with that later. Okay, so our new resources. Um, I'll probably pretty much just throw in here and start processing. Um, apparently still doing iron, nice. Maybe I'll put this one in here. Can this process- this might not even process this material to be honest. Sathium? No, I don't even see it in here, so... I doubt the neodyme, whatever one... Actually... No, neodyme can be processed in here. Huh. Maybe I'll do it within the base anyways. 
Let's see. Sathium. Oh, yeah. See there? And then there's an advanced CPU. That's our first one of many, probably. Do, 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 do. And then Neo, whatever kind. Crush stone. Should probably send crush stone to the other place. That in there. Ooh, a flux. We'll probably need that eventually. Nice. Okay, so there you go. We're going to make a bunch of those guys, then a bunch of these guys. And there we go. Now we can make advanced CPUs. And this one requires a Sathium, so it's good we got it. This one, power coil, won't be making that anytime soon, but we can make a flux coil at least once that's produced. I say we did a good job. And then we'll throw this in here for the crushed stone. Rock dust, I guess. Excellent. I like how we put it like right here in the way. I feel like this has that structural integrity. Actually, maybe this one doesn't. It was like smaller rocks. This one's too big. Huh. Interesting. So I wonder if it shows like this getting weaker than when I shoot this. No. I think because the structural integrity doesn't actually work on this yet. It's just going to show it the same color the entire time, if this is a way to break it. Oh, this is the remove and repair tool. Derp. But I'm sure it will keep the same color. Yeah. And then it goes away. So can I actually remove this with the right tool? Yes. Nice. That sits a bit better. Looks so badass. It's like force field type s sort of looking. Excellent. So there we have it, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And when we come back next time, I guess we'll be building more advanced CPUs and playing around with all these new, you know, fun stuff that we want. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll make some new advanced maybe weapons and... A drill. I'm honestly just looking forward to the drill. I think that's going to be awesome itself. Look at all that iron we got. Got quite a bit of copper too. We were running out of copper, so I had to get some. Uh, now we have a decent amount of copper. Way too much iron now, which is great. Perfect. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check the links in the description, and we'll see you next time.